Hello everybody, good day. This is Amanda here. I live in New South Wales, Australia. Thank you very much for joining me. This is my first official decent video where I can talk to people one-on-one -on -one and try and connect with people who are also interested in natural health, raw food eating, plant-based nutrition, the frugivore and fruitarian diet, also self-healing. That means healing the body naturally through fasting, detoxing, and also eating predominantly raw foods, especially fruit. I am more interested in a frugivore fruitarian diet. After doing a lot of reading, a lot of research, and my own personal experience, I do believe that most people would benefit enormously and even heal a lot of their inner uh, problems or long-term, even chronic diseases. I've had a lot of different health issues over the years since I was very young, um, mostly to do with my digestive system, also my neuroendocrine system, that means the nervous system, the glandular system, uh, meaning the hormonal system. And I'm just so happy that I have made the decision to commit to plant-based eating. I have tried in the past quite a few times to stick to a plant-based diet. For different reasons I haven't stuck to it. But in this case I have been eating 100% plants since May of last year. And I am committed. I'm in a process where I'm trying to leave behind lots of addictive eating patterns, emotional eating. It's very, very difficult. I know that many people will be able to relate to me. And I hope to be 100% raw within the coming months. I do get a lot of inspiration from the people I'm connected to on Instagram. Um, I can recommend a few of them if, if you'd like to know. Just leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll let you know who my favorite people are, the people who inspire me the most. So let's get straight down to the benefits of raw food eating. Here we have a diagram of all of the systems throughout the body, including the kidneys, the brain, the heart, the liver. Um, I, I can't go into all of it now because we don't have an, enough time, but basically when you start eating raw foods, it does have a benefit on every system in the body in terms of detoxing, um, the physiology improves, um, the body just heals and a lot of huge uh, major diseases like heart attack and stroke can and will be prevented. I definitely believe it. Um, the healthiest people I see these days are definitely the people living on plants. Um, and there's a bit of discrepancy as to whether the people eating cooked food or the people eating 100% raw are the healthiest. Um, that's not really what I'm trying to get into. It's about how every system in the body will function better on raw foods. And I still think that fruit is the best because you've got the fiber, the water content, the vitamins and minerals, the right type of soluble fiber, which is very easy to eliminate. Um, so what can I say? So look, look at the information yourself. It's very easy to find it on the internet. Just do a search. Um, here is Annette Larkins. I don't really know much about Annette. I just found a picture of Annette yesterday. She eats mostly fruits and vegetables. Definitely no meat. Definitely no dairy. And at 71 years of age, I think this lady looks absolutely amazing. It's very inspirational. This picture down there is Dr. Doug Graham. I'm pretty sure he would be a raw foodist as well. He's trained in chiropractic, not a medical doctor, but he's still helped a lot of people. I've read about three of his books in the past and they helped me enormously, breaking down all the nutritional information. And I think he's amazing and he's inspired me a lot. And I recommend looking up some of his YouTube videos. He's got a lot on YouTube. He has a website called Food and Sport. And um, that would be very helpful if you're really interested in learning more. Now here we have a picture of Tonya Savasta. 
She's just turned 70 years of age, if I remember. I was just watching YouTube the other day. She's another one of my major inspirations. Born in Russia, migrated to the USA, and her story is very, very interesting. You can look up more about Tonya on her website called Beautiful on Raw. And here we have a picture of high protein foods. If anyone's worried about protein, we do have a lot of foods here. Some of them are fruit, which do have, they all have amino acids in, and your body is capable of building the protein that you need from the amino acids in all of these food foods. But I do think, I do agree with Dr. Graham, that fruit, if you eat enough of it, does provide all that we need. And especially the bananas, a lot of people are focusing more on the bananas, but every fruit you have, and also because the nutrients are very easy to digest. So there's never any shortage of protein because a lot of people living on plants often get that question about where do you get your protein from? Are you getting enough protein? And there's proof so many people are living this way and they are doing fine, even athletes, sports people. And it's all a matter of working the muscles. If someone wants to build the muscles, they need to work the muscles and um, help, you know, help their body through eating raw foods. Um, the body will heal in its own time. The muscle will be built in its own time through plant foods. I've seen it time and time again. And even with myself, if I start working out in time, I will be able to build my own muscle. The body is still healing, so you can't rush these things. Everything takes time, everything in its own time. Um, the final chart that I have today that I printed out yesterday is about raw food combining, raw vegan food combining. And it's a good idea to learn a little bit about food combining so that your nutrients can be very well absorbed into the body and so that you don't have um, symptoms of bloating and um, upset stomach and that sort of thing. So it's a good thing to do some reading about food combining. And here, as you can see, you've got watermelon up the top. Should really be eaten alone because of the high water content. It's just better to eat it alone and then your body can process it and it can start to do its valuable work. With me, I notice it has a very powerful effect on my digestive system and my kidneys. I'm very sensitive, I'm very tuned into different foods and how they affect me. So that comes to the end of part one of this video today. And the next video I will be talking about the benefits of green smoothies, um, how to make a green smoothie and also green juices. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please click on like. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel today. And please keep watching. I will, in time, start putting up more videos. It just takes time because I don't have a lot of access to the best technology. So thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Look after your health and show a little bit of kindness every day.